Hi guys and welcome to Retrobeard. Guys, I'm a little bit of a poodle bear today. Got a bit of a runny nose, feeling a little bit under the weather. But still, a bit of chaos going on inside the house there. Lots of shouting. So I thought, I'll come out here and I'm going to play a computer game. Uh, the game I've decided to have a look at today with you is this one. It is Rocky Memphis and the Legend of Atlantis. Now, this game is available from uh, Sidetronic, and um, I think it was about eight or nine pounds, um, and that includes delivery. Uh, it is a homebrew game. Uh, it's maybe two years old now, and if you've ever played the Shadow over Hawks Mill, I'm pretty sure it's the same guys because it just feels so um, similar to the Shadow over Hawks Mill, uh, along with the music and what have you, um, the feel of the game, the design, uh, the platforming. Uh, all, all feels really kind of kind of similar when, when, when you play it. So um, this was produced by Icon64 and is programmed by Stuart Collier. The designer graphics were by Trevor Story and the music is by Soul Cross. There's a quick look on the back there, guys. If you could just quickly see it. So yeah, as I say, um, this was one of the first homebrew games that I bought uh, a couple of years ago uh, on the Commodore 64. It's quite an enjoyable, uh, an enjoyable game. Um, yeah, and I think you'll enjoy um, having a quick look at the gameplay with me. So, this is what happened. So guys, this is Ricky Memphis <coughs> and the Legend of Atlantis. Man, this cold is really taking a grip. Do really like the music in this game. So yeah, we're off to North Africa. So I'm just going to give you a little insight into what this game's like. This is a homebrew game from I think it was 2017, possibly 2018. One of the first ones I got uh, from uh, Cytronic, um, but it's made by Icon64, the same guys who do the Shadow of Hawks Mill. If you've played that, you'll definitely see uh, some likeness here. So this is our character. He looks a bit like um, Indiana Jones or something like that, I suppose. I like the way how the graphics are, are drawn. But I do like the music. No, I don't think you can reset that. It's one of these ones where you've got to go on the river back in. I think that's all that's up there. It is quite a while since I played this game. Yeah, you can change between. <coughs> I don't really know what 
I do is I can't remember now. <coughs> I do quite enjoy this type of game though. It's um, like quite uh, relaxing, really. Till you get stressed out with it, of course. There's nothing there. <laughs> but as you can see, yeah, the, the music's pretty decent, and I think the graphics are pretty nice as well. I think the, the main character is really well drawn. Found a blood shield. Adds a sort of postcard, guys. Any idea what any shit? Where the hell did that come from? Oh, fuck it out. <laughs> Lives at the bottom left there, guys. See the hearts? Then obviously what I'm holding. No idea what the other things for. Don't know what these do, but we'll just. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Those bats are little bastards, aren't they? Something's just rumble there. I think it's uh, this way. Might be that. No. I was just wondering if it was where them steps are, because you can definitely go to. Oh, fuck it Definitely. Oh my god! We have one life left! <laughs> I didn't think I was doing that bad either. Game over. Right, we'll take another one of that. <laughs> Can normally get a little bit further than that, guys. Right, let's go. Interestingly, that doesn't work later on. So, right, so them steps are definitely up. Let's just get along here, and I think it's these. That should have lowered them steps down. Oh, I always think that's going to fall on us. There it is there. Now, what do I do here? We'll wait for you to go. Given that little bastard there. Oh my god. Get yourself away, man. Oh. Right. Now we can't do anything here, I don't think. Can't read it. That's locked. Oh, that's just, I know he's going to press that button as soon as I. God! <laughs> right, I 
Finally. Jesus. Wait, what does this first one do? Right, that, that's a bit good. I could just get... Oh, no, I need both of them down there. No, if we get one of them down there, then these can activate the switches. Right, so... Get yourself down there, dear. Just do what you can. Oh, perfect. I'm glad I had another go at that now. Some more switches here. No. When the story, I always tend to do this when I don't know. That looks doable. Chisel. I can't read what that says. Cannot read this. Shall I go down there just in case I sort down? There? No, no one's up there, guys. So I guess we're headed back. meant to be but why would it make me want to get over to there for absolutely nothing metal pipe oh okay metal pipe done something there not a clue what normally when that rumbling happens it means something good lives left which is a what was a bonus exactly the same as well well that's just there fuck yeah let's just you try using some of these nah there's no one up there there guys oh how did that click off there I don't know what I done there Something worked. Is that a switch maybe in there? Is that a oh! 
No! So, I don't know what I've done. Oh, do you know what? Let's just see what's along here. I'm thinking any of these. Lots of bat action over this side here. Go. Cannot read. Be meant to be able to read something round here. Don't know what the crack crack is with these guys. Just look at that though, he's missing his shield there, isn't he? So... I just don't know, I mean... Metal pipe... Chisel... Struggling now, guys. We've got to maybe try and find a shield or something. For that little guy at the bottom there, he's missed his shield, poor kid. But there's nothing. Oh, we found a whip. Oh, hello. Oh, that could make uh, things a bit more fun. Can I kill stuff? I've only got one life left, though. Oh. <laughs> Come here, you little bastard. No, I do feel like Indiana Jones. Oh, no! <laughs> Definitely making progress, guys. It's a fun game. I might just not be making it look this fun as well. <laughs> it normally is. <laughs> so, as, as I normally say, um, I really like the graphics on this game. Um, I really like the, the kind of feel to it as well. Um, like the... The underground caverns and stuff like that. Um, I think it has got like a um, a good kind of vibe about the game. Uh, I also think the music's excellent and really well fitting for the game as well. It gives it like a kind of like an eerie sort of you're on your own kind of kind of feeling to the game. Um, so yeah, I would say it's definitely one of my favourite games, um, homebrew on the Commodore 64. It's not like a particularly fast game or anything like that, but you've got to use your brain. Um, there's some good little puzzles there, although sometimes it does feel like it's a little bit random. Uh, but then that might just be my gameplay, because we all know I ain't the best at these things. But hey, I like to play them still. Do you know what I mean? So um, I would definitely give uh, I would definitely give this game, uh, the Legend of Atlantis, uh, a player. For the Commodore 64, um, as far as I know, it's not available on any other formats. Uh, as ever, I'll put the link uh, in the description down below to where you can buy it. Uh, don't forget, of course, obviously, you'll also get a digital version of the game that you'll be able to play on your Commodore 64 Mini or Maxi. So, guys, that's all from Retrobate for today. So, stay safe, and hopefully uh, I'm going to get over this cold, because it is definitely just a cold, and nothing more, I'm hoping. <laughs> from Retrobate, goodbye.